In this video, I wanna go over five things that you can do to improve your finger picking and learn if you never have before. Now, some of these are gonna be a little unconventional, some things you haven't heard before, but they're things that work. Because at the end of the day, the only thing that matters when it comes to guitar is having it work. The first thing to keep in mind is your right hand nails. But having a bit of nails on your right hand really helps. Now, you don't need right hand nails, but having it just helps the notes come out a little more clear. So if you want to finger pick on guitar, try to grow out just a tiny bit of nail on your right hand. It does not need to be a lot, just having a tiny bit helps. Now, this does not apply to your left hand. Your left hand, you want to make sure you just, you know, cut your nails normally, but with your right hand, you can keep them a tiny bit longer. It's going to help your finger picking. Now, the next step to finger picking on guitar is having the right left and right hand position. And we've gone over this a bunch of times. Your left hand, you always want to make sure it's as relaxed as possible. It's behind the neck. And with your right hand, you always want to make sure you're finger picking more from your fingers and not your whole wrist. See, a lot of times people will finger pick with their whole wrist on guitar, and that's really a bad technique. You want to make sure you're really just playing from your fingers. So the first step to finger picking on guitar is having a bit of right hand nails. And the second thing is making sure you're picking from your fingers and not from your wrist. Really, you're not doing anything with your right hand and your fingers do all of the work. Now, this is going to contradict a lot of what I just said, but the next step to finger picking on guitar is building your skill, specifically just your overall guitar skill. And you don't even need to finger pick for this at all. If someone comes to me and they want to learn to finger pick on guitar, the first thing to do is just learn your basic guitar notes, learn some left and right hand technique. And this can even be just plain simple guitar songs with a pick. You don't need to do it with your fingers. So when you first start playing guitar, you want to develop your left and right hand guitar technique by playing simple songs. And then once you've developed your skill, once you've learned all six strings, then you're going to slowly start to learn basic finger picking songs. Now, the next step to finger picking on guitar is learning basic finger picking songs, specifically finger picking patterns. Now, there's another level to finger picking on guitar, which we'll get into a bit more later, which is playing finger style guitar. But you don't want to do that until you've actually built your finger picking skill on guitar. So what you'll do is you'll learn songs like that, such as Dust in the Wind, Landslide, and just basic finger picking songs. And I like this because you're not thinking about all the advanced aspects of finger picking on guitar. You're really just thinking about hitting the notes. They can all kind of be the same level and just playing the left hand chords. When you play finger style guitar, every specific note you hit on each string needs to kind of convey a message because you have the melody you're trying to make really clear. So step five of finger picking on guitar is learning finger style guitar. So once you've built your skill, once you've learned finger picking patterns, the next step is playing finger style guitar where you're actually adding in melody. So let me show you an example between just normal finger picking on guitar and finger style guitar. So let's start out with finger picking. Now we're going to do finger style guitar. So when you're playing finger style guitar, you're not just moving your right hand fingers and kind of playing everything the same, but you're actually adding in the melody to the music. And you can even add in things like percussion and all these advanced techniques. So to do this, it requires a lot more effort with your right hand and a lot more thinking. When you're playing finger style guitar, specifically finger style arrangements, you really need to think about that melody. And to do that, you need to have a really good right hand finger independence so you can hit certain strains harder than others. So that's the fifth step to finger picking on guitar, the most advanced step, which is when you actually play finger style guitar. If you're interested in learning finger style guitar, then I recommend checking out the comments or my description for my full program, Finger Style Mastery. Now this is my A to Z finger style guitar program that gets you started by playing basic finger picking patterns, then slowly gets you playing harder and harder and more complex finger style guitar songs. Now it works for beginners or lifelong players just looking to improve their skill and has helped hundreds of people all over the world of all ages and skill levels learn finger style guitar. Now this program works great for people who already have a bit of skill. Maybe they've been playing off and on their whole life, but it also works for beginners because we start out with basic things. We start out, you know, with step one, where we talk about the basic aspects of finger style. Then we go to step two, where we talk about, you know, your left and right hand technique. Then we have step three. Then we have step four, where we learn basic finger picking patterns. Then slowly and slowly, we get into more and more complex finger style guitar songs. If that sounds interesting, then check out the comments or the description for my program Fingerstyle Mastery or go to Acoustia.com.
Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you start learning fingerstyle guitar.